That's the word. Drums pack. Guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. Today we're doing Infusion Dome by Prada. I only have one other Prada full review on my channel. That's the original Luna Rosa. So after I review this scent, I got to review um, Prada Amber Poor Home Intense Poppy and a Luna Rosa Extreme. I really want to check out their Privé collection, the old numbered series if possible. If you remember, they had fragrances like number six, Benzoin, you know, number seven. Um, I forget all their names, but they were all numbered with like a note. And I want to check out their newer um, Privé line with stuff like Cargo Noe, Midnight Shadow, Mirage, etc. Still have to purchase the original Amber Perome. Embarrassed to say I don't own that. And I want to try the new original Loam and the low version. I've smelled intense, but that's it, I think. Um, also want to smell Luna Rosa Black and Sport. Haven't tried either of those. So that's where I'm at uh, with Prada. If you want the brand backstory, watch the Luna Rosa video, but I definitely love this brand. Yo, I still have Prada America Cup sneakers, only one. Uh, one pair or so. My man John Luca, who's my friend on Facebook, he'll tell you he's have like 20 pairs of Prada Luna Rosa. I mean, a Pr Prada Luna Rosa, a Prada America Cup shoes to match outfits. That's no lie. I have Prada button downs. I got a Prada Gore Tex jacket. Like, I just, I really like Prada's uh, aesthetic. I think it's really clean and classy, and, and this shit is well made. Um, so, this fragrance, this version of Prada's man said, um, Infusion Dome has been long since discontinued and replaced with Loam. Um, I bought my bottle of this from Sephora, 100 ml, $80. This is my third bottle of it. Don't know what I'm going to do when this one runs out. We'll have to see. Um, but um, I love this one. It's now gone. I've seen it going between 100 and $200 on auction sites. It's a 2000 release from the what seems to be the in-house nose of Prada, Daniela Andrier. And the notes on this one, pretty simple. Neroli, mandarin orange, um, iris, vetiver, cedar, galbanum, benzoin, powder, and alabinum. As far as your presentation goes, I know there are a few different presentations of this. I've seen like the one with the notes on the side. Um, this is a simple one. It just says Prada, uh, Milano. It has like a cloth cap. And on the bottom... I think is there a sticker on the bottom? Somewhere here, no? No, I guess my shit doesn't have a sticker, which is weird, but I promise you, I got this is a four, it's not foo foo. I mean, there, I don't know, there's just a number on the bottom, maybe the sticker, I don't know. I really don't know, but I promise you, it's the real, real. Um, and the sprayer, really nice on this one. You know, nothing amazing, but will do the job for you. It's still I'm a little fucked up about that sticker but anyway um so austere presentation but nice you know guys this is one of the easiest fragrances or simplest fragrances for me to talk you through it's really like being in a hotel on the amalfi coast or at san tropez in a five-star hotel where they have like all boutique toiletries and just the aroma of that super clean expensive pure soap lightly scented is exactly what this one smells like powdery a very powdery clean smell laden with iris and neroli it's almost like the iris and neroli and powder are in such perfect balance that it just blends into this clean damn near almost silver sort of smell it's fucking amazing and then it's sort of surrounded by that silver soapy powdery fragrance that's just a touch of smokiness from a little bit of a clean benzoin note and a little bit of a green resinous feel from the galbanum and then to sort of bring together the slight smokiness and the green notes is just a real low dose of some vetiver you know, this is just a really well done. It's excellent. And I don't say that too often, but it's just Italian simplicity at its absolute best. Almost impossible to find fault with something so simple and so affordable, at least when it was affordable. I love this. And I think the job that uh, Daniela Andre did here is special. And for me, this is a really special fragrance. Your know, performance is fine on this one. You know, it's not amazing, but it's not meant to be. You know, it's meant to almost be like one of those second skin scents. Um, I think you should be able to get six to eight hours from it. 
moderate projection during that time, and I find this to be unisex. In my eyes, this is totally unisex, and that makes sense, you know, based off the comparisons this gets to Infusion to Iris, which is the woman's counterpart to this, you know? I'll wear this in the spring, fall, and winter, and definitely in the summer on cooler nights and days. Um, how I personally like to really wear this one is in the spring. Uh, and fall and winter and even sometimes summer again I love to just wear this one but I really like to wear it at work really in the spring and fall at work uh, I also like this one fresh out of the shower when I just want to chill or just don't want a huge reaction you know um, like if I was going like all right, I'll tell you like a story there was a time there was a time when um, I was a girl that I really really liked her mom wanted to take us out to dinner um, she took us out to this amazing like really old school Italian restaurant on the Upper East Side, just like very expensive, no menu, old world shit. And like, I wanted to make a good impression um, and I wanted to smell good, but I, I, you know, I didn't want to be obnoxious, so I wore this, you know? I feel like this is just like super understated um, and I didn't want to smell anything but sort of clean and, 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 and nice, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to, I didn't want to do tobacco vini, um or Jubilation 25, you know, or, or something Raja like, or Zerzhov. Like, and again, this was years ago, so this is before that shit was even out. It was probably existed, but I didn't know about it. It's like, I want to say 2010 or something like that. So I wore this, and it's just, it worked really well. So I think that's a great way to use it. Um, now, if you're looking for something similar to this, look, I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you that um, the other Prada fragrances in the men's line, like Amber Pearl, Poppy, um, uh, Loam and Infusion Iris aren't unlike this one. They all sort of share this soapy, clean vibe, but they all have like different little nuances to them. To me, this is my favorite that I've smelled thus far. Um, so, you know, Iris is pretty close to Infusion to Iris. That's like 52 on fragrance net, $52, and a very good stand in for this. I'd still want this. But if you can't get this, I think Iris the uh, Infusion to Iris is a really good stand-in. This also gets compared to Iris to Iris Cedra, um, uh, or Infusion Cedra, I think it's called. Um, and I haven't smelled that. I know they did a whole line of Infusion fragrances, and I'm really embarrassed to say, in similar looking bottles to this, that I don't think I've smelled any of them except for the Iris one, which is very good. Uh, but I think those might be good stand-ins, although I want this. If someone were trying to talk you into purchasing this, I think they'd say that um, it's the best soapy scent going. It is class in a bottle. It is well made. Uh, the bottle is really nice and understated luxury. Mm -hmm. I think on the flip side, someone might say now it's become hard to find. And look, I can also say, and very honestly, reality is some people just don't like soapy smells. And I get that. Some people don't want to wear a soapy fragrance. They want something different. They don't want to smell like they're out of a shower and I do understand that as well I'm just not one of those people I'm going to give this a nine and a half out of ten if this was still readily available at a good price I might bust that ten out of ten out um, but if you want a pure soapy scent there is no better this is like class man class in a bottle it smells great it's unisex it's so inoffensive and just so different from what other designers were doing at that time, which I really respect. It's a fantastic scent. It's A1 disco shit, guys. So that is it. That is my review of Prada Infusion Dome. Drop a comment, let me know what you think, and if you agree with me on this one, and I'll see you real soon again with another video. My name obviously is on the corner that pitches no short they my